Trophy King Mackerel. Add that to your bucket list. To catch quality Texas King Mackerel on a kayak, you'll need a little luck, persistence, and finesse. It's early in the season, but with water temperatures now reaching 70 degrees, kayak anglers all along the Texas coast are racing to catch the first king mackerel of the year. Although our fish finders are marking schools of fish, we'll take our time. Big schools of spade fish are in. So to avoid them and go after what we're looking for, we'll vertical jig and fish underneath them as spade fish don't readily attack lures. Even something as small as a Spanish mackerel would be a good sign that the kings are on their way. Or perhaps they're already here. lesson was learned here. Good lure, bad hooks. Don't hesitate to correct that problem as you can find yourself losing more fish than landing. Spanish mackerel are known as king candy. All room, if the Spanish are in, you know what's coming. And although illegal to use as bait in the state of Texas, they are the perfect indicator for king mackerel presence. Well, hello there, pretty things. Thank you. 
Today is a special day. Big schools of bait are crashing everywhere around us. And it will be up to us to chase them down or lead ahead. When big schools crash the surface like this, it's for a reason. Something much larger and below them is forcing them to the surface. The trick is to chase them down, but don't get too close. Bonito, and another sign that the kingfish are here. We'll continue to chase the schools of Bonito, but after a few more casts, we're going to try something a little different. The lures that we are using aren't heavy enough to get past under the bait balls and in visual range of whatever's chasing them. Since the water clarity is excellent today, I'll rig up my rod I have set up for trolling. A custom king rig with a 3 ounce egg weight and a ribbon fish as my bait of choice. I'm going to paddle as close as I can to the bait ball without disturbing them, and then stop so that my line can reach down 20 feet without any lift from trolling. Little did I know, I was about to go toe to toe with one of the biggest king mackerels I've ever seen in my life. Rarely do kingfish take more than a few runs, but this one says otherwise. Finding a large kingfish this size can be difficult. You want to be able to tune them in, finesse them, and pray that those hooks will hold. I've just realized that this is the biggest king I've ever caught, and while I'm pretty good with my gaff, this is entirely different.